Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming this morning. Uh, my name is Savor McDonough, and I am the MP for Mitchell Morton. And the reason why I'm saying with my home is not just because uh, it's what we all do. But I have, um, I yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, I had an email um, from um, the owner of the site, Tamlin Berlin. Oh, I'm being. His legal representatives. Ah. Go on. Ah. Okay. Uh, they've got Councillor Ian Munn here from uh, Frickett Green Wall, just been doing a lot of work there. And this is, this is the Director of Environment and Regeneration at the Council for his things. At some point, it must have been uh, quite great. And on the... Um, <laughs> on the... On the... Um, on the 4th of August, I wrote to both the current listening and to um, uh, Mr. Baig and Phoenix Properties, the owners, to ask them if they could come and meet us here today. Uh, 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 Mr. Lee Inglis and P will be able to tell us uh, what the current position is with council. But what I wanted to do is just to read you with the um, email I got from the Oda Nils legal representatives um, last night. Um, we wrote to him, as I said, on the 4th of August, and we managed to wrap him down by phoning this today. Uh, whereupon they told us that they weren't able to come this morning uh, and that they were quite far advanced in negotiation to sell the site to a housing association. They couldn't tell me which housing association they claimed not to remember the name. <laughs> now, this is the letter, this is the email I got from um, uh, Phoenix uh, legal representatives last night at quarter to six. Dear Madam, we act on behalf of Phoenix GRP Investments Limited, who are the registered proprietors of the above property. Our clients have forwarded to us a copy of your letter dated the 7th of August, requesting a meeting on the 12th of September. Uh, we write to inform you that our clients would not be attending in DC on the 12th of September, as they have received and accepted an offer of the sale to the, of the site to a housing association. The Housing Association intend to develop the site as a residential accommodation and as such their offer is conditional upon planning conditions being granted for a minimum number of flats to make the transaction financially viable for the Housing Association to proceed. We understand that your secretary spoke to this the Mustafa of our client company yesterday who notified her of the same. As part of the sale, it is intended that an apartment building will also be refurnished. This will obviously then alleviate the concerns of your constituents. We understand the ar architects are being instructed to prepare initial drawings with a view to submitting a formal planning application within the next few weeks. We can keep you updated in relation to the sale should you require. And that's Maxim Solicitors of Grant of Gants Hill, Essex. So that's the correspondent from the owner. This need it a bit? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll pick up on, on two or three of you. Firstly, on the, the issue about the potential for it to be sold to a housing associate. Uh, it would be inappropriate to me to speculate, but we do know that there have been discussions between the owner and the housing associate. So, there may be some mileage in that, there may be some genuine truth in that. Uh, let's hope that's the case, because clearly it's not running as a viable proposition. And a housing use may well see very appropriate. It would be kind of funny up and crazy. The bit they sort of call them concentration. Uh, and we see you now that running up has been quite. Two issues that we're being with, uh, with as much force as we can. Firstly, the unauthorised sale of vehicles where we're staffing. Um, we've taken plenty of enforcement action. A notice has been served. That notice is expired. Uh, and unless the vehicle is cleared by the 20th of October, um, then we'll be able to take legal action in the court in order to enforce that. The second issue is the condition of the building, which is a listed building. Uh, we've taken plenty of courts upon that, which served the multiple notices. And the key date is that it requires the owners to submit a planning and listed building application by the 27th of October and then allows them five months to complete the works to bring it back up to the required standing. If they don't do that, uh, then it allows us to enforce and ultimately 
uh, CPO will be further the building if they haven't taken the appropriate act. So we're doing everything within the council's powers to deal with both the unauthorised sale of the vehicles and the condition of the building, uh, and we hope that the owners do the right thing in terms of clearing the SAFA and bringing the property back into a proper condition. But what you've all say, it sounds like they're pursuing a line now of looking at a new owner and a new development opportunity. Uh, and it may well be the facts of route that they take, but um, I know no more than that that this coin's in turn. Well, on, a, on a personal level, I find it hard to believe that if the housing association knew, knew the restrictions on the site, that it would be financially viable to then begin with this. Now, I'm only saying that in purely, I don't know this, that a purely speculative thing, but, you know, the purpose then of the site costs quite a lot of money to, um, up to make into proper state. It's not very convertible to accommodation. The cricket pavilion, uh, you know, it's a cricket pavilion. It's not going to become uh, flat. And so the space that we used to develop this is booksy in any of them. But the loot, you're not kind of very tight to not the girl that they are the only outside. You can't all that. They can't know. We've got no one. I mean, the Sunday mid out to take that. Um, if I may, I'm the chairman of the cricket. My last conversation with Cameron, in, he indicated to me that he was no longer in discussion with Babylon, but that he was considering flats on the back car park. You take this car? Yeah. No, he all over there with Barbie. Oh, and the pre, but at the back of the. That's the best thing. You think this car park? A fee on the back fence. He look at, it. at that point in time, he was wanting to have us consider the possibility of moving the pavilion onto the onto the playing surface. I had to explain to him that we were not the owners, that it's common land, and it would require an act of parliament in order to undertake that. And I left it to him to pursue that for key chose to. But we made it very, very clear to him that we were we had just under, and are continuing to undertake refurbishment works on the pavilion. We spent twenty thousand pounds in doing that, not with the attention of Donia Warimad. This fall, it had a big kind of reasonably successful season, and it would intend to be here next year and hopefully forever. We cover the good million dollars that David or Deva need to drink for the crash the number of you. But the only better lead to the fifteen seven was you little way. Uh, let the tarry three do it. I'll allow it back through the DG bill. Now, based the council to bring all three urges, please. You said the other night that you've got a partnership with someone, and that'd probably be a help. I think they would. The council in thinking were to come for three thirds of double arrow, would you need to go into part of this risk? I don't know, but we would just make sure that the bridge because it is a secure. I think no way that that's that risk. But the council that would have been. So will we be offered the client? Yep. Well, it, the uh, uh, first thing I say is that the full street purchase fund would not be our objective. That's a power that we could use. Yeah. But it's a very little tool. It's like sword choice. It requires certain legal steps. But you could often get tied up in legal work. I, I think you have someone that's absolutely right. Where we have entered this procedure, we've often you know, yeah. always had a back-to-back -back theater with an on-board developer because we're not in the process of developing cooks as a council. So we wouldn't want it to be in our ownership more than for a minute. Whilst we then had a back to back feel with another organization. The community right to fish, which I think the one you're referring yeah, to, yeah. Could, wouldn't apply because we wouldn't be owning the the pub for any period of time. It would be immediately sold up. But let's let's not run away with the right and has utterly disappeared. Um and we are very keen to get a resolution as soon as possible. Yeah, we're dealing with it at the further prescribed time scale. I think time scale we agree. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it may be certainly on the wire with it, so. Uh, I know we're dealing with it, okay. and we've always dealt with it in the prescribed last bank. Well, maybe it was just don't you break you, but the delay in tech team. Um, so this process, I mean, how is this going to affect? I mean, all the courses you can be placed. You may be affected by what's what, hang on, it's something to do with the ring. 
our enforcement action on the car park and on the building will to rest. Like, uh, it may be because of that that we're seeing some momentum in some discussions. With we'll, so we'll continue with the new one. Is it just taken over by a bond? Uh, how many? So, uh, I think you have to start a new cultures then. Well, I, I'm, I need to check that. I think we need to contact the distinct pistol building waiting. The distinct cavalry, two of them, the distinct side of that. The thing that they think is about. He cares up for wherever the cheer was, he can't and so that. The first one's here. Great, this is more for the record. And spoil, it was a little bit worse. Oh, and the quick one also, it comes from just a number, something that I was very clear speaking. Okay, should we all come in a little bit closer together? Like we all like one another. <laughs> the listed building lives there, Lotus, with nothing as sex to sign the same. So, the whole thing, they said that it just might. Uh, and yeah. it, it was in two of the chiller bombs on the The, the service of the listed building refers to Lotus. Cameron hasn't caught being fought, bought for the application to identify. Ways we should be carry out what he fair should have to really. The pipe hole was great with a big stood leak. If they said what could happen, what we would be the group, we would then have to say they're going to the secretary say for but permission to go hold suit to go for the to the grave it's sooner than the five hundred twice to you. The space we have a was standing what and you do you think third I think I'm not I think we just this can be done with the bill. It'll never be a part. I thought, oh, there's simply a Well, the, the first thing is it's not the council buildings. They're relying on all the old fellow balls. He must have had a well of beer. I like the ones that think he it. Do it. What? And we see the zucky all there. Yeah, they don't even sound. Well, that's the last mess carrying it here. I do have to uh, secure. Using things, it was to demolish that. The body split at a foot cup. The bus is rusting and a uh, theory. It was on. Um, on the hotel building, did it ever see? We hadn't realized that we would have could for three bought three pub, psycho and seed. Wait, 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 being talked to with shares and that good at work. So, actually, you are denied what the reality is, probably not directly being it, but someone but man, and for sure the man who to the say shame. You think he's got to do it? Don't mind that.